This is a short video on how to register with Autodesk to get the software that you will need for our upcoming classes and for any other future classes that you may have within the engineering technology arena. To begin, you want to use the register button. When you register, you want to use your my.sinclair.edu email address. And again, make sure it's my.sinclair.edu. Confirm it. And then indicate whether you're a student, teacher, coach, or unemployed. If you're a student, it would, it, it'll ask you to fill out your name, password information, a security question, date of birth, and this is to allow you to retrieve your information. Once you've registered, it's going to send an email. You have to access your my.sinclair.edu email address to retrieve that email. Uh, you could also activate using Facebook or text messaging. And it's important that you activate your account so you have access to the software. Once you've registered and logged in for the first time, you're then able to get information regarding support of your products, the download of your products, and even tutorials about products that you may use in class or you may find intriguing to try outside. To begin by downloading the software, choose the free software tab. It will give you a list of software tools that are available for you to use. And this includes virtually every Autodesk software created, which is a fantastic ability for students to have. In our class we're going to use the 2012 software, choose English, and the key is your operating system. Whether you're running a Windows 32-bit or a Windows 64-bit, because choosing the wrong one the software will not install. It's a download away if you choose the wrong one you'll have to come back here and re-download the software itself. So I'm currently running a Windows 64-bit machine and so I'll choose Next. It's going to be uh, providing you a prompt that says it's going to issue a serial number and a product key. Make sure you keep these at hand because you need these when you go to register the product. You need to activate the product within 30 days. If you don't, the software stops and you're done. If you activate it, you get three years worth of utilization of that software. And yes, you can download the next release, and it will not affect that three-year initial installation. It's a fantastic opportunity for students. Okay, I've blurred out my serial number and product key, but it's come up with a download button. Now, with the download button, depending upon which browser you're using, it'll either download to your browser window or it will start uh, a variety of different downloads. There is an installer and if you have the ability to use the installer tool works really really well. A couple of other things on the side if you want to confirm your operating system check your operating system compatibility before you download. It just saves you the time. If you want to prepare your system, you want to make sure um, of things that you may want to do to get your system ready for the download and install of the software. When I choose download, it's going to download to my computer. And then from there, it will I'll then be able to install it. I did not use the installer tool on this particular uh, Google browser. If I was downloading via Internet Explorer, it would prompt for use of an installer. When you install the software, make sure that you put in the serial number and the product key. Regards to support, if something were to fail, you need to get support from the Autodesk Education Community. 
No support will be provided by our help desk. I guarantee that somebody's had the problem that you're having previously. A couple of general rules that you want to make sure is that you've gone to Windows Update and you've updated your Windows operating system software to the current release, meaning all the patches and service packs have been installed. I had a student that did not do that and we couldn't figure out why it wouldn't install. And it was simple as, it was as simple as just updating the Windows operating system. So before you even get started, that's a good thing to do. If you need to ask a question or answer a question, you can choose the Ask a Question tab. Most of the time, the typical questions that are created that students run into are listed. This is a worldwide product, which means students from around the world are going to be asking questions, which is kind of unique and interesting to see. In regards to learning, under learning, you've got the ability to download tutorials. And the nice thing about the ability to download tutorials is that it's by product. So in this case, we're downloading AutoCAD. We've got curriculum, um, but you'll see tutorials and other information which works out really really well. They do have competitions that are available to you, uh, career information, and a general community that you can talk to. If you're a faculty member that has registered, you'll also have an invite. Now the faculty require a non Sinclair edu email address. I also recommend that you email Autodesk Education Group and thank them for the opportunity to share the software with you for educational use for free. This used to cost students over $150 or more per package that they would like to install and Autodesk has now been giving it away for free. This is a fantastic service and opportunity for you to be able to work anywhere with this software. Look for future videos and we'll be seeing you soon.